Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homey. And in this video, I wanna show you an interesting feature that you might not know about. And it's something that I use every day in my own smart home. And it's called zone activity. Now zone activity is used when you have sensors in your home. So let's say a movement sensor or door window sensor, you add these to a zone and when activity is sensed, so if your movement sensor is triggered, then you can have certain actions happen. Now I've got a bunch of lights set up here and I'm gonna show you how you can use zone activity to turn on the lights and have these automatically turn off after a certain amount of time. So let's jump into it. Now here, I'm in the Homey app and you can see I've set up the three lamps that I have with me here in my film studio zone. I also have a motion sensor that I've recently added to Homey and it appears here at the top and has not been allocated to a zone yet. Now what I'm gonna do is create a flow that says when this motion sensor detects movement that these lights turn on. So you can imagine if you have the motion sensor set up in your hallway, you can turn on your hallway lights with this flow. I'll show you how this is done. Now the first thing you need to do is put the motion sensor into the film studio zone. You can do this by heading to the motion sensor device panel, going into the settings in the top right, and allocating the zone to be film studio. I'll hit the check mark, I'll go back, and you'll see now that the motion sensor is part of that zone. Now the next step is to create a flow with zone activity. Let's do this. So let's head to flows and hit the plus in the top right. Now for the when card, I wanna use the zones and then film studio. Now you'll select the zone that you're trying to set this up for. So if I select film studio, you'll see a couple options here at the top for zone activity. The first is this zone became active. That's what I wanna use. So I'm gonna tap on that. You'll see here that this zone became active when any contact or motion alarm goes off. The zone will become active. Okay, so I'll hit the check in the top right and this is my when card. Now for the then card, I want all of these lights here to turn on. So I can simply add a card that says devices, turn specific devices on, then head to device type and say lights, and then tell it what zone you want these lights to turn on in. So the film studio. I'm gonna hit the check in top right, and of course, save that flow. Hit save and give it a name. So I'm gonna call it film studio and then active. Now to demonstrate the flow, let's go back, head to my devices so you can see this happen. And what I'm gonna do is turn off the lights. So you can imagine that my smart lights are now off in that zone. Now I got the motion sensor set up here and it's facing you. So if I wave my hand in front of it, that simulates motion is being detected and the lights turn on. Now in this case, with the flow I just made, the lights will turn on. Now that's great. But what if you leave that zone again and there's no activity? You want the lights to turn off, conserve some energy. Let's set up a flow for that. So I'll head to flows and hit the plus in the top right. In this case for the when card, I wanna use the same zone activity options I had. So I'm gonna to head to film studio. And now I wanna say this zone is inactive for. Now this card is used for when the zone has become inactive for a certain amount of time. So I often want to delay before the lights turn off to give you a chance to leave the zone. And this delay will reset every time there's activity in that zone. So it makes it really useful. Let's say you set the timer now to five minutes, but you re-enter the hallway in two minutes time. That means that it'll reset this timer because the zone was active again and then becomes inactive. And then it has to wait five minutes before this flow is triggered. So that gives you a sort of delay between the zone is active and the lights turning off. Now back in the app, I can select how long I want this delay to be. So if I tap here on one minute, you'll see a bunch of selections and options that you can use. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, all the way up to 60 minutes. Now for demonstration purposes, I want one minute because I don't want to be here all day before these lights turn off. So I'm going to select that and then hit the check mark. Of course, we have to add a then card. So this flow will be triggered after one minute of inactivity. Then for the then, I want these lights to turn off again. So I'll head back into devices and then turn specific devices off. Device type is lights and the device zone is in my case, the film studio. Hit the check in the top right and hit save. Now I'll call this flow 
Film Studio inactive. Hit save, and we can head back to our devices overview. So now to demonstrate this, let me turn off the lights again, activate that motion sensor, and then have the lights turn off after one minute. So I'll turn these off. It gets a little bit dark. If I wave my hand in front of the motion sensor, so motion is detected, the lights turn back on. Now, in one minute, these should all turn back off as long as that motion sensor doesn't detect movement. So I'll be back with you in one minute. Okay, so the lights just turned off. So it's been about a minute. Let me put this away again. So it's that simple to create a flow for zone activity. Now I wanna show you one more cool feature and that's to add a door window sensor to this. Now you might be thinking, oh, I have to create another flow. I gotta set that all up. No, because we're using zone activity, it's really simple. Let me show you. If I head down, I already got this paired. So I'll head to the door window sensor. And what I'm gonna do is set it up into the film studio zone. So that's the same zone where I have these lights set up. Now, let me head back. Let me show you the devices. If I pull this carefully into view here. So you see the contact sensor is now closed. If I open this up by pulling the little piece away. So the lights turn on. Now this can be used, let's say on your front door, or on your door from your bedroom to your hallway. If you're using that in that sort of setting, then this is a great and useful option. So the door opens, it knows there's activity in that zone and the lights turn on. There's no more falling down the stairs because it's dark in the morning or those kind of, let's say, old fashioned problems. You can set this up to work in any zone of your smart home. Now, you can also use zone activity to trigger other devices. Let's say you walk into the living room and you want music to play, set that up using zone activity and a sensor. So motion sensor, door window sensors, these kind of things work great. And these are the sort of automations that all run in the background and really make a smart home essential to daily life. So you walk out, the lights turn on, and it's that easy.